All right, so I know that most of you guys know me as God Status the Shotgun Hater. Now that is on Phantom Forces. However, today we have the Jackhammer on Bad Business part of the prototype pass. You can also unlock the gun normally, but we're gonna try it out. As you guys know, I have been a long, and I mean a long time critic of shotguns. And this is might come off as a shock for you guys. A shock, shock, I meant shock, 100%. Uh, might come off as a shock that I actually enjoy this shotgun. It has 10 bullets, slugs, shotgun shells, whatever you may like to call it or address it as. And it shoots relatively fast. However, bad business balance shotguns really well, in my opinion. Or at least this shotgun. I, I haven't really used the other ones all that much, but this one, pretty solid. It can one shot super close range, and I mean like super, like I'll try to show you guys here. That didn't even one shot, that didn't one shot, things like that. This is what I want in a shotgun. Now granted, on bad business they have 150 health compared to like 100 for let's say Phantom Forces. So them not one shotting all that consistently super close range is a bit more understandable and because it does shoot fast, but look, all I'm saying is Phantom Forces has shotguns that shoot just as fast and one shot at a much further distance. I actually love the shotgun on here. I don't know if I'm gonna like having people use it against me, but as far as me using it, I really enjoy it. You're forced to fight super close range. As you guys saw before, if someone's even like from here to like that door, it's almost like impossible to hit them. And I'll try to demonstrate that again here in a second. If I can find someone, there we go, let me kill him. If I can find someone who's like a bit more out in the open that I'm not like reaching hard for kills here. Um, give you guys a realistic example of what I'm trying to say. So. Uh, you're a bit too close. Just die. Like, these guys? Right there, I'm probably not even doing more than, like, 30 damage per shot. And that, to me, is beautiful. The shotguns have an extreme power at close range, which, like I said, they have the ability to one-shot. You just have to be super close. And then it also has the ability to sort of fight its own. Like, right there was a one-shot kill, and I was, like, on top of that guy, headshots and everything. I, for once, in a FPS game, which this is going back a long time, I for once feel that shock, a shotgun is somewhat balanced. It doesn't destroy literally everything. It isn't buck wild at way further of a range than it used to be. I'm gonna give an example that many of you guys may not get the reference for. If you guys remember the models from Modern Warfare 2, especially when you had them akimboed, those things were insane. I remember the first time I ever unlocked them, they were just a normal model, not even the Kimbo, so not even two of them, just one. I went on to Estate on Modern Warfare 2, which is like one of the biggest maps in the game, and I dropped a nuke on there. A 25 kill streak with a shotgun on the biggest map in the game. Shouldn't really be, you know, that easy to do, especially, you know, long ago when they had like first, you know, were first in the game. The game wasn't even that old at that point. It was wild, and they never got changed. But bad business, bro. Let me tell you guys, Ethan, L, everyone on that dev team, I don't know who else is actually like a consistent developer for them. They're killing it. As far as gun balance, I personally think that they're killing it. Like the amount of balance that is actually in these guns is incredible, especially like I said, you know, I got to really enjoy something to be sitting here and saying a shotgun is balanced on a Roblox FPS game. Because I don't think there's any other Roblox FPS game where I would say a shotgun is balanced whatsoever. And this, it just hits so different. Like, I used this for literally like five minutes prior to recording this video. I had used it like two hours ago, just quickly trying it out before I went to go play some other games. And even in those five minutes, everything felt so smooth. See? I just got trashed by a shotgun right there, but I was a little bit damaged if I'm not mistaken. But my point is, the shotguns aren't crazy. Like, you guys don't understand how refreshing this is to just be playing and not dying at like 70 studs by one hit of a shotgun. Especially when it's a default ammo type. Like, it's not even something special. Like, I I hate keep going back with Phantom Forces, but it's literally the only reference point I have. If you guys remember the one video I made about the KS-23M, or like, I just showed a clip of it quickly, uh, or it might even happen like during one of my videos where someone killed me with it at like over 170 studs with one shot with no ammo type. Think about that. That's nuts. That would be like from here to there. And I can't even hit them at that range, like maybe one or two pellets. I might have done 20 damage to that guy right there. And even then it still took me two more shots. Like this is where shotgun balance should be in my opinion. Granted things like slugs on PF, like yeah, obviously they're gonna do damage at range because that's their MMT, blah, blah, blah. But like flechette, birdshot, everything like that, even just the base shotgun damage needs to be changed on PF. But I mean, hey, 
Why even worry about PF when bad business is around? Because this has everything I would want. Not to mention, like, okay. Even down to, like, the base levels, and I know this isn't fully Final Forces' fault because they have, like, old spaghetti code because of how long ago the game was made and whatnot, but, like, even the game's a lot more optimized. There's a lot less bugs. Everything about it, like, I'm sorry that every bad business video I make is me just preaching about it, but the game's amazing, bro. I don't know what else to say. Like, I, th I feel like there hasn't been a single update in all of bad business that I have been let down about. Or something that like seemed to be something better than it would be there hasn't even been any update that like mind you a shotgun got buffed this past 12 got buffed and it was apparently everyone was saying it, cr it was crazy i didn't personally use it so i can't personally speak on it but the general consensus from everyone i had spoken to when it got buffed was that the shotgun was crazy guess what spaz 12 got nerfed like a week and a half later if that when has that ever happened in federal forces now you go look at oscar's video and they just shadow buff birdshot Bro, I, everything in me wants bad business to be like the main game on my channel. Honestly, I haven't had this much playing like an FPS game on Roblox in a while. PF does not give me the excitement that this game does. PF's updates do not make me as happy as, as these updates do. PF in no way, shape or form to me even competes with this game anymore. And that's sad to say, because PF is my channel, it's where, it, it's the game that I got big on, it's, you know, the foundation of everything, but what is the point of it when I'm not even remotely enjoying it anywhere near as much as I enjoy this game? Look at that! What was that? Six shots to kill him? That's perfect! <laughs> Bro, I... Excuse me. I can't explain how good of a feeling it is that even I can use a shotgun and I don't feel scummy about it. I don't feel like I'm abusing something. And I wouldn't even be mad if other people are using shotguns on here. Do I still get annoyed at times because it's a shotgun? Sure. But I don't get annoyed because they're, you know, destroying me at ranges that are unreasonable. And that's what makes the difference, bro. Like, this is everything that I've wanted. And again, I apologize for all my bad business videos just being praised about the game. But it's hard to not praise something that I love. And I hope you guys can kind of respect that, that I'm only talking about it this way because I truly believe that. I'm not paid in any way to shape or form to say this. I did not force in any way, shape or form to talk about the game like this. Genuinely love this game so much. We are 73 and seven, Jesus Christ, bro. But this shotgun goes ham, it really does. If you are willing to fight in close range and that's something you like doing, this is definitely the way to go. Like I said, if you're not the high enough level to get it, or I believe you might have to buy it with credits, I'm not sure. There might be a level on it, I don't remember. Um, but unless you can buy this with credits, you don't need to spend Robux to get the prototype pass. However, I really would recommend it considering that they've released what, like five guns for the prototype pass already. And there's like a new one coming out like every week or two for it. Like that's nuts. So for like five, 600 Robux, you're getting six or seven guns that you don't even need to like level up and meet the requirement to unlock. And all those guns are pretty good. It's not like you're getting like terrible guns that like, you know, you can't do anything with. They're all really solid. The SL7 sniping video I made, prototype pass. Might as well check it out, honestly. Huge bang for your buck if you can spend, what, like five bucks for the Robux? Honestly, 100% worth it. I might even potentially see if I could give Robux away to get a pass for someone like that. We'll find out. But nonetheless, I hope you guys did enjoy. Please, give Bad Baby a chance, bro. The game is just too good. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.